2016 Rio Olympic torch. This is the real deal. The Olympic flame wasn't here, run through a city in Brazil. It's true. These are the real deal clothes that came with the torch. There was a man in here who ran through Brazil. Or woman. How do they smell? Or woman. <laughs> they smell great. They smell like achievement and success. For 95 days before August 5th, when they actually light the cauldron with a torch exactly like this one, they take this torch and run it around Brazil to the different cities. It actually hits 90% of the population in Brazil with this That's flame. That's crazy because Brazil is such a big country. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. How did you just know that? I don't know. <laughs> it kind of came out of nowhere. We got this torch, we got this outfit, we decided let's call our friend Chanduras and go do something fun. So we spent the entire day Holy. making our own Olympics. Homemade Olympics. It was we, so much fun. It really was. We did our own like homemade events and it took all day, it was awesome. Not every Olympics has the same torch. They have a unique design for everyone. These different ridges represent the water and the mountains and the colors of Brazil. And check this out. It closes down. Oh. You can take it on the bottom. We discovered this little knob. Oh, that's a lock thing. Huh? Yeah, you can lock it up and then check it out. Whoa. It's one solid torch. That's and when cool. I turn this, Ooh, party it's time! Bad. And there's been a bit of controversy around this because just yesterday we saw in Brazil they had this riot and they dumped a bucket of water on top of the flame no. and it totally took it out. I'm more intrigued by this than many of the other items that we've ever cut open. I'm kind of nervous because it's like, is there like a fuel cell? Like, it stays lit with fire. What's in here? Sparks with the angle grinder and fuel cell. Oh, nice. This video may never make it to YouTube. But we or it will go hospital. viral on YouTube because it blows up. Let's explore this thing and uh, hopefully don't die. Yes. I miss both. <laughs> <laughs> so it has a lock on the side and a little tank on that side. So I'm hoping that if we undo this Allen wrench where the other one is missing right now, that maybe we can take this little part off and make sure that there's no fuel tank in there that's going to explode. I hope that it's here. Oh, yes! Oh. Ooh, the fuel cell is out. Look at that. It has a little nozzle at the end where the gas would go out. It could be like one of those paintball gun, like air compressor things. <laughs> you should paintballs out of that thing. That'd be the ultimate paintball like, gun. <laughs> 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 okay, so I feel much better about cutting this open because- It's safe. When it's locked into place, this is flush with the end of it. Imagine that there's a gas can inside of there. When you push it over to this flame part, it depresses in about an inch that pushes on this metal frame. Right there, you can see it depress. Yeah. And that's what gets the gas at the end to actually be going through. And then once you turn it off, the gas won't be going again. So we figured it out. We solved the mystery of how this works. <laughs> but we still got to cut it open. We do. And I feel Because I want to see what's inside all this too. Oh, yeah. and it's not going to blow up now. Kind of wish it was going to blow up, but still, cool. Oh, sorry to do this to you, beautiful Olympic torch, but it's got to happen. Here we go. Take a look at the damage so far. There's the aluminum that we cut into. Here's the top part. This is really the part that was getting really hot and sparking. So now the plan is I just want to go straight down through that all the way down the thing. It's... Dude, this is really serious intense. business right here. This is an Olympic sport of itself, just trying to cut open the torch. <laughs> it is. Give me the gold. So far is. we're in a hard bronze. Bad news is it's like ridiculously hard to cut. Good news is it smells like churros though, huh? That's, just, that's the engine. We got an engine malfunction. You hear that? Dude, that thing is cooking. This is a brand new saw I just took out of the box before we came out here. Dude, this Olympic torch. Not going down without a fight. It has that Olympic spirit for sure. <laughs> okay, I have another one of these saws in the house. We have to use the same blade. Yeah, I usually have a couple saws lying around as well, so I'm glad you do too. Hey, you know that feeling when your friend uses the wrong saw to cut open an Olympic torch and no. it takes an extra 45 minutes? I would say the average number of saws that we use for our videos is three. So if we use any more than this, then we're gonna be above average, but this is par for the course. Holy Woo! crap. Look Dude, at that. A giant chunk of metal just hit my arm. No. Holy, yeah, huge chunk. Right? 
god, what is that thing? Oh! So that's where the gas comes out of, right there on the end. Comes into the torch, boom. Look at all the metal, they really reinforced strong throughout it. Seriously, it feels like a jet company made this torch. <laughs> lost the light and the power. Did we just destroy your house? Check out the rattlesnake tail ending. You can kind of move it up and down now. It's still attached, I'm amazed. Look Whoa. at that. Look at those colors. This so one looks so cool. It like goes in and out, in and out. Yeah, that's the top one. The no, top I green. Oh, that's one with the Rio on it. Oh. Hey, keep that piece. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> was awesome. Look at this. Oh, that's the... Oh, uh, this is the actual spring that puts it all together. Yeah. And it locks into place. So the lights keep going out. We're right so close. There. Grind down. <laughs> I'm loving this. He's just over here working hard. Laughing at us. I don't really know what all bars are in, in between there, but I'm hoping I can pry it open. Oh, wow. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Yes. Oh, my word. Look how interesting that is. Look at that. It's not as simple as you think. It's not like, here's the torch, let's put some cloth at the end of a stick and some gas on it and light it. They have the gas can in there, they have all these different things, the spring system so that it can open and close. Locking mechanism. Here's the outer shell. Here's the actual brain where the gas went through and out to the top. And this is the top of the Olympic torch that the flame came out. So it took us three saws to cut this open. We <laughs> failed a few times. The great thing is, today we spent the entire day making our own Olympic Games, and there were some failures in that too, but that's what makes it fun, right? <laughs> we had a lot of fun today. I made a video for my channel that's like, homemade Olympics, Rio 2016, in real life, what's inside, versus Shot We did some crazy things. So click the video, or the link in the description, or the end card. We need you guys to watch the video and be the judges. You're the Vote judges. For this Let's thing. go Team Lincoln! Vote for Sean Duras. Team Dan. Leave a comment, let we us know did. who won. Go Rio 2016. <laughs> I forgot that that was two pieces. <laughs>